Hey guys, look, Cardhacker here, and today I'm here with another Nendoroid unboxing. This time out, we'll be unboxing the Racing Miku 2018 version. So, I don't usually collect uh, Racing Mikus, but I think that this design is really cute. So, I decided to hop on the Racing Miku uh, bandwagon. But, don't expect me to get more than just this one. So... Uh, this is uh, obviously the box is much bigger than the standard Nendoroid boxes nowadays because from what it looks like she does have a, a car here so let's unwrap this thing and see what kind of uh, parts we get I have a rough idea because I just saw a lot of the photos but I don't yeah I think I actually think this is uh, my first legit racing Miku I've had um, the small one before as a gift, but that's that's not a real size Nendoroid. So anyway, all right. So here is the racing Miku in her blister, and here is the the uh, little booklet that you get to see what parts that she's supposed to come with. And whatnot. So, we'll look at that later. Okay, so her her uh, car, the race car, is uh, with is bubble wrapped in the back here. That's that's the thing with most of the packaging for Nendoroids nowadays. Since the boxes are smaller, they have to find ways to make things more compact and. So a lot of stuff gets shoved in the back, uh, so it's hard for, harder for you to in inspect it. If you want to check for any paint that's off or anything like that, um, if, if you're buying it at, at, at a store, if you're buying it online then there's no way you could check anyway, but um, where I'm from in Hong Kong, if you pre-order your stuff locally, they will usually let you pick. Uh, pick from a few and see which one you like the most because especially for Nendoroids um, There's times when there's There's a paint that might be a little bit off so they let you pick out the one with the least amount of uh, Yeah Least amount of Paint that's off Sometimes I do miss um inspect it and then pick a box with some paint that's off and that kind of kind of a shame but partially it's my own fault so usually it's better to get your if you're buying them locally is usually to go first so you have more options all right so this is the actual Miku herself it's very very cute I really like the um, the, f the fluffy parts that uh, that she has um, very very cute so that yeah, I think her neck also have one Oops. put that down first yeah. alright that's all the plastic that's off so let's take a look at her so the little crown thing there I quite like the detail in there and they did the fluffy fluffy bits quite well even though it's not fluffy it does actually look look it looks a little fluffy from the parts okay her skirt a little short you can see the the ball joints but that's okay your piece Okay. The back, right? The the peg, the hole for the peg looks pretty deep. I'm not sure if you can see on camera, but that's a good sign because uh, if it's too shallow, then it might just uh, fall off. So there's also some uh, decals over there, decals. I like the detail in that. There's Banpresto, 
Acro Marine Gift, Max Factory, and Free. Oh, those are all the factories, I guess. Um, it's nice. It's nice, nice, nice. So let's look at the additional parts that she gets. So obviously, she gets one additional faceplate. Quite like this expression. It's very cheerful and playful. Probably I'll mainly use this one. Because this one is kind of like a generic Miku face that she makes. And half my Miku Mandaroids are making that face already. So I'll use the winking smiling one. Although I do have a few Mikus winking too. Next. There is uh, an arm with the... Holding a steering wheel. get an extra leg part oops this one's kind of like with a bent knee only one of those I guess it's for where her to pretend she's uh, cheering on or something and this is the other other side of the arm that if you want to use it for the steering wheel I guess back in there's actually not that many parts I guess uh, there's a there's a little she has a little staff um, that she holds oh nope she gets she actually, there's actually more parts in here all right That's good but all right we're done with this blister so let's put that down here all right, so let's check out what's inside here. Uh, okay, so you do get a few extra arms to use and the car is wrapped in the little paper thing. Okay then, all right, so the car there's no stickers on it yet. You do that yourself. Just a little, little, just freaking bling it out. And this is the part where you put the Miku's body. Um, it looks a little weird if, let's just, let's try it out. Let's try it out. So it'll look like, oops. It'll look like this. Obviously you would swap this with the racing car hands. But actually, no, actually, it looks fine. It's fine. Um, we'll play with that a little bit later. So, let's check out the parts that we get. So, you do get uh, three, ad four additional arms. I guess that's an uh, arm for you to hold the... Uh, hold the staff... All right. Okay. So you do get a lot more parts than I thought. Um, wasn't really thinking. I was course there is there has to be a hand where she has she can hold the staff um, and it's pretty easy to do I guess uh, you just pluck the top off and then just put it there but be careful when you're doing this if you are not using her staff then don't don't uh, keep this it, don't keep it in this position because um, as time goes on, the plastic will deteriorate. And if you live in a really very hot environment, the hand and staff might melt together. Or at, at least the, the paint on the staff might come off if you pull it off after a long time. That's what I noticed with a lot of nanoroids. <clears throat> Not necessarily my own, but sometimes my friends too. So just a little heads up there. Because uh, I started connecting nanoroids when I was like, I think... At least, 
not maybe not ten years ago, but like at least like seven years ago. My first one was the light one, and the paint is not very good on that. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's just a little heads up for you there. Oh, we also get a little card inside the box. Right? But I'm trying looking. I'm trying to look for the, st the stickers to stick on the car. Oh, it's at the back. Yep. So you can stick this on the car, design it however you like. It's quite a lot of um, stickers for you to use. I'll do that later. But that's pretty much um, for the unboxing. I'll do a re review after I uh, play with her for a little bit. And I'll also take some pictures. So all right, I'll be right back. Hey guys, so overall this Miku is, I, I quite like it. It's uh, the parts were pretty, the, the detail is really nice. Um, the, I like the expression and the car is it's pretty good for what it is. Um, the one problem that I do have with this is that the, um, the torso for the main figure, it's the peg. It's a little bit loose. I'm not sure if it's just mine or if it's like that for all of them. I guess it's because you have to um, take it out to put it in here so uh, I guess it makes it a little bit easier to do that instead of it being really tight but I, I felt like if they make it like a, a little bit tighter it wouldn't be too detrimental but overall that's nice and you can stick your own decals onto the um, the decals onto the uh, car so be careful when you do that because I there's a few there's a few problems with mine. Um, you can't quite see on the camera, but I tried I tried a few times to stick it in, stick it on there. So yeah, overall the uh, figure is nice. I give it a four point five out of five. It's not quite a perfect one because there's uh, just a little bit of a problem with it. Just just mainly the torso, but. Overall, it's still pretty good, and it's a little bit, well actually it's much cheaper than the other, uh, the other uh, racing vehicles that I, I saw on the market right now. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this review. Uh, detail, actually if you want to see more in depth, um, when, I, when, I <laughs> when I have more time with this thing, then you can read it on the blog. But overall, it's a 4.5 out of 5. Uh, the rating might change once I do it on once I do have this figure for a bit more and I have it on my written blog. Also, sorry, <laughs> the uh, decals come on this sticker sheet, so you can customize it however you want. Uh, they give you two just in case you screw up, so that's that's really nice of them. But I, I didn't I use a few of them. I used the, the ones that you would assume would be on there. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this figure review slash unboxing. Not, not too much of a review because I just unboxed this thing. But from the looks of it so far, it's good. So yeah, if you want to see more details, then you can go to my blog. Uh, if it's up there. <laughs> if not, then you can, can just stay tuned for that. And stay tuned for more Nanoroid reviews. This is Kartaku, and I'll see you guys later.